Yo guys, sorry you already know that today we are back playing some more Unicorn Overlord. We are here at a Vile Desecration? Okay, I think I like read that as destruction or something like that. I, I read it as the wrong word in my mind at first. Uh, but yeah, we are uh, at the main quest. So this is probably going to be a pretty big fight around this area. Uh, let's see how much of Elheim we can clear out by doing this. And let's not waste any time. And let's explore the stage. I feel like this is the first time we've seen a Necromancer, so that's going to be something. Um... I don't even know what to think about that. I don't I don't know what they're going to do, but I'm a little scared of them. It's just as we expected. Not a soul in sight. What could possibly have happened here? Baltro. I should have known this was your doing. Oh, this is the guy that turned um Barangaria against us again. Why or at least captured her. I love the way his cloak just like sort of sways in the wind. The locals are just dying to greet you with nothing but the finest hospitality. Their awakened corpses are. Wow, you killed everybody here and then you're just going to use them as your army against us. Monster. Stay on your guard, Yonisa. Ah, if it isn't El Tulindra, I see they've lifted the spell. What ill fortune for you. Newly restored. Only to serve as the main course in a banquet of flesh and blood. That's what you think. Alright, I'm I'm excited. This uh I feel like this could definitely be difficult. I don't know what's good against a necromancer. There's gonna be elven fencers, which are definitely hard to fight. Natani Graveyard. Oh, Gerard. Are you sure this is wise, your majesty? Most kings wouldn't vacate their palace in search of mere sightseeing. The minister will manage more than fine in my absence. He always does. Why does it look like so much like Elaine? It must be nice having such a capable aide in your service. Nice? The man amends every word of every document I write. What good is my lifting the pen at all? <sighs> Not to mention, he governs the royal appeals. If the egoist wants to be king so bad, I say let him. And despite my father's retirement, he's still very much alive and exerting his influence. Making me little more than a crowned ornament in someone else's court. One who spends most of his time being scolded by those who hold the reins. In any case, travel is where my heart truly lies. I want to see this land for myself, her people, her towns. And I want to do so with my own eyes, not through faded paintings and narrow castle windows. Only then will I know how best to rule as king. Hmm. And that's why you've absconded without so much as a word of where you're going. The minister will be furious, you know. Just imagine the lecture that awaits your return. Ah, but that's where you come in, my darling. I'll simply claim you whisked me halfway around the world in one of your devilish antics. <laughs> you wouldn't dare. <laughs> okay, that is spooky. You're late. So, what now? That accursed ring has undone the magic we worked so hard to realize. A trivial setback, seeing as the sanctuary lies in ruins. You say that now, but I'm the one who cleared your path into Elheim. Surely you haven't forgotten what I demanded in return? You asked for a spell, and you were given it. Huh. And I'm saying it's lost its value to me. Mm, only for a moment. The rebels die here, and with them, the ring's influence. Just see to it that the seer survives the slaughter. I've need of her. Alive. Honor is French. Shame these cadavers only bear so much self restraint. All right, this is a big, big fight. All right, let's see what we are working with battlefield wise. It's a lot of thorns. Does that mean that we can't really like go through them at all? There he is, that foul sorcerer. Hold a moment, Rosalinda. I have a bad feeling about this. 
What is this? Oh my gosh, they're everywhere! I have more puppets now than I could ever hope to use before the rock consumes them. It is the height of irony, truly. Every soldier you've slain has only bolstered my army further. You have my thanks, foolish rebels. Hey, uh, where do those elves come from? Those are no mere elves. Their corpses animated by fiendish magic. First he sows chaos in our home, and now he violates the sanctity of death. I'll stand for it no longer. The rage of my fallen brethren shall guide my spear, and pierce the wicked heart of that vile sorcerer. Alright. Today, the monster Baltro answers for his vile desecration of our lands. Yes, and though it pains me to say it, we'll have to cut down his revenants if we've any chance of reaching him. Come then, uh, we'll not let this tragedy continue unabated. Alright, so we need to get the Hoy up there and defeat Baltro. And we will do that slowly but surely. I don't know if we can go through these, like all these thorns and whatnot. So, that makes me want to um, send Hilda's unit to fly over. Right, and just kind of get that. Now there's some archers there, so I don't want them to actually engage in combat. We need uh, something that is good against the sorcerers here. And as much as I was holding them back from getting too much experience before, I really think this is where our our paladin like unit is is going to shine. If I have to, yeah. If I assume I was like, I'm pretty sure they're going to be our best chance here. We can also probably bring out. Um, I was gonna say Prim's unit, just somebody that can like heal. Potentially. Can can just do you know can support with healing skills. You know, well I'm gonna stick to the road just because I do not trust. Um, and then I guess I can keep one just for another time. But if we want to look, uh, we have. I think. Hmm. If we can get rid of the Elven Fencers, this could be better. I think Travis's unit would be the next one that I would send out. I could also see Rosalinda's unit being pretty good. I could put either Rolf or Rosalinda's unit in that Watchtower. I'm seeing if there's any... I think from here I could I could uh, deploy more units. So let's, let's start running it right now. So. Here we go. And I mean, I can healing assist here if I want. I don't think it's necessary. Let me let me make sure that they all have like what I want. So All right, so there's the row here, row here. Okay, that makes sense. Yes. What is is holy guard for when you're attacked? Okay. I don't think the order matters. Uh, this is fine. I don't want to use up too much stamina, so I'm not going to do a healing assist. We're not taking that much damage. And if we do start taking damage, then that should start proccing the row heals in future combats. This unit is going to really be our key to victory. Perfection. And we got... Three, oh, everybody's level 23 now. Addo got more attack, initiative, all that good stuff. More HP attack. More HP. That one's not that good, but it's alright. She's more of the support unit of the the squad anyway. So you're you're going to be able to take them out with no damage. I think we just let that happen now. Kind of do a trade off. Got some hot cross buns. Okay. I want you to go straight over here, and I will decide from there if I want you to be in any combat at all. Okay, there's a sorcerer there for the the barricade. There we go. Prim's unit is now there. Perfect. We're gonna watch them in action. So there's Meteor Slash. That's cool. Does he not have the um that hasten strike for the the start of combat? Because nothing else proc to start a combat. I want to make sure that that is there, unless he's a different class than the ones that have it. Ow! But yeah, we keep healing. Fire Slash is cool. Lower your defense and have, what, one more attack? Perfect. And Prim is going to level up and Selvi. Cool, cool, cool. Um, more initiative and HP, I guess, is fine. And all that other stuff. 
HP evasion, yeah, all right, and defense. Perfect. Hey, how heartless you must be to raise the blade to your dear brethren. Yet I wonder how long you can endure uh, against an army that knows neither pain nor exhaustion. Go for the soldiers of death. Teach these simpletons what true suffering looks like. All right, so more reinforcements. All right, so Monica's unit. We are going to have you be the ones to just kind of go for this ballista. And I believe Prim's unit, we're going to go around and see if I can't do that. Okay. Where are you guys going? Okay, so we have that going on. Okay, so what I could do, I could do a Dragoon Dive like here and do like a lot of damage. And I think I would like to. I don't want to get involved in combat until I see whether I, I would win or not. Allow that could me. stop reinforcements. All right, you can kill this one. It shall be done. I, rise I really just want to make sure that I don't overlap well. uh, with that circle. Okay, we're taking some damage, but you're fine. Come then. Okay, magical assist is going off, but we're gonna be able to heal. We'll go ahead and watch them perform their combat duties. Yeah, you're still getting burned. Or I guess not, but don't matter. Nice. Perfection. We got our health back. Got a lot of experience. That's good. And actually, that's not a bad. That's not a bad matchup there. All right, so we're gonna watch this happen. This is a victory, so then one more one more combat and we should be good. Burning everybody's awesome. And now we're probably just gonna miss a bunch of attacks. Uh you do debuff. I always forget about the debuffs. And I'm like, I should probably change my tactics around to stop burning them if it's not gonna do anything. But I keep forgetting to actually do that. That's on me. Are we gonna hit anybody? Oh, they hit me. Oh, they're gonna hit me for a lot, probably. But I shouldn't die. Because I it said I'm only gonna take like seven damage overall, meaning I'm gonna heal a bunch back. We at least did kill one. Alright, not too bad. No level ups. Hopefully the next fight will be enough to kill. It sure will, and we got our healing. Let's go. Take that. And now you can just lower my attack, but I mean, I have like five attacks. So a combination of them would kill you. And only took like two. And that should be enough to get some level ups. Let's go. Celeste got more attack and initiative. Love that. And evasion. This is very good. I love seeing attack initiative on top of the other things. And you got all the same things as well. Fantastic levels from everybody. And you still have some stamina, and you can get some of that back. And I'm going to see if we can deploy anybody from here. Although I don't know if that's as necessary. Wow, that's just like a whole range of units. Okay, so you're doing that. I can deploy from here. That's good. I can also move here. Like, I could do something crazy like that. Uh, Oh. I... I don't think I want to do that, but I'm in a position to do that at any time that I want. So that's interesting. So I might just keep Hilda's unit here and have them be the ones to finish that uh, Baltro off. There might be uh, some more to it. Like as I approach, there might he might summon more reinforcements. Uh, who knows? All right, I see somebody with wings. So I think from here we are going to deploy uh, Rolf's unit the militia fights off. I'm ready. and just kind of go this direction. And we could also deploy others if need be. Uh, like Travis's unit is not bad here. I do like that. Um, yeah, we'll we'll throw out Travis's unit. I don't have a specific use for him yet, but he can go this way as well. All right, so now Monica's unit can pop off. Uh, we're gonna get a lot of healing. Based on that much healing, I don't 
think anybody's dying, so we're going to go ahead and just run this combat. Come on. I'll say, I think we can just kill them all before they even attack us. I'm assuming that's what's happening. Then we can row heal. Ah, right, and then the, the wind arrow, because you use wind arrows, you can't hit me. Fantastic. And I think the idea, I would love to fire from here. Ah, uh, that's only you in, in range. Well, I guess I'll have to do that. I think by the time you reach here, probably won't be able to do much. Uh, we'll go ahead and watch them watch them go off. I forgot to look at his tactics again. Okay, you go ahead and debuff. Ow! Thought you'd do six six damage. I healed <laughs> like twenty eight. Oh my gosh! Goodbye. Now you're dead. And then the defense down would probably make this next attack do a lot. There we go. Cool stuff. Cool stuff. Uh, I'll do I'll do a quick garrison of it because I think it might help increase something. Okay, so you are getting close. So I think we are going to move. And go this way. I think we're just going to go to the camp. Made it. Okay. So what I think should happen, we're going to go ahead and use a a light feather here. So that way we can use Rolf's unit to take out. Do you need something? Uh, this Understood. thing right there. Okay. So you're gonna go camp. Let's take what's ours. I don't think that's not gonna be able to reach any of the enemies. So I think we're just gonna have Travis kind of go this direction. We've garrisoned here, so now you can sort of move out around, just like that. All right, this this looks all this looks good to me. Uh, yeah. You're gonna go ahead and just get your stamina back. Got archers, and... I guess getting some true strike stuff would be good. So I think I just kind of want to wait for them to come to me. Try me. So here's Rolf's unit. They're gonna take some damage. Ah. Because they can keep making me miss. Okay, oh, wide pursuit went off, that's good. And then, yeah, I just don't think I have the ability to heal that much from both of mine. Yeah, just two first aids. Ooh, there we go. So many level ups. Virginia, good level up. Attack, evasion, defense, being on the front line. That HP is crazy, 75 HP? Uh, Rolf, I guess more accuracy is fine, but not a great level up. And then you got more attack and accuracy. So, good stuff. Okay, you're just going to go over this direction as well. I just kind of want, like, my units to get over here, and then I can figure out uh, more of a game plan. How far... Oh, I can't wild rush. That's so sad. How far away can I arrow rain from? Like, I can get those two. That's fine. Just do a little bit of damage. I kind of want to manage everybody's, um, like, stamina. All right, so... So I kind of want you to do that. I'm going to draw you back a little bit. Okay, so Travis is going to get this first one. Oh, there's a lot of, like, archers and stuff. Oh, no, I guess not. They're not doing any range assists. We'll go ahead and watch Travis's unit pop off. You never know when you're going to get some unique dialogue, I guess. Yeah. Thanks, me. Easy. Easy. 
Berengaria is going to level up. Not even surprised. More of just about everything. That's good stuff. No hard feelings. Okay, you still have five stamina. So you could take on any number of these. I'm going to have you go for this one. Won't take long. I think we'll let Do you need something? Ross unit go for this one. Right. Okay, so this is time for payback. Oh gosh. I'll pierce you so we take 18 through. damage doing it that way. Major, I'll support you. Try me. All right, we're just going to skip this fight where we're going to do it this way, I think. So it's all magical assists, range assists. So we're definitely going to need to sort of balance how we're doing everything. So you're going to do that. I'm going to draw you all further out this way. Okay, so Travis's unit. Going to go ahead and just do that. Going to look at everybody's health. Travis took like 12 damage. It's a good chunk, but he'll be alright. Ha, hungry for more, are you? Why not my horde of cadavers will entertain you as long as you wish. Go rend the rebel flesh from their bones. Okay, you got more on the way. That's fine. That's just more experience for me. Uh, I think we now have two again, so we're just gonna arrow rain these two. And by these two, I can actually get all four. That's crazy. Go for it. Let's see what this does for us. All right, Chloe leveled up. More initiative and attack is good. Uh, okay, so you take that one out. You have five stamina, so I guess you take this one out. There we go. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and just skip. We can actually get through this fight. And still be able to explore a little bit after, depending on how long the cutscenes are. If we play this right. Now there's Monica's unit. Mm, nah, you don't need to do a healing assist. That's probably a bit overkill. Okay, I don't... I don't have anything... That can very easily get through the thorns there. So I think you're probably my most resilient unit. So I think I'll send you there. Mm, I want you to go this direction. I'll do it. And we're just gonna let. Oh wait, let you go there. Do you need something? Just go through. Understood. Yeah, we're gonna let the reinforcements come. All right, so. A feudal endeavor. I don't know why I decided to watch them, but I, I will. I just want to see... I just like seeing them pop off and then get healing and all that. I do love being able to magic barrier just so like all these attacks. It's very good. I actually feel like sometimes this is overkill, but it works so well. That I, I don't feel like I would bother changing it at this point. Even though if I, I wonder... I guess the Cavalier Call is specifically for Cavaliers, is it not? Grand Cavalier allies with pro yeah, so it's it's kind of like built for that purpose. Uh, we're going to go away over here. Okay, so you're gonna go that way. Let's take what's out. I guess you can just go this way. There in a second. I'm here. And then you can just vital absorb. I'll make it quick. We'll go ahead and just watch this, I guess. We're running a little low on health for like Leia. Travis isn't really getting any heals. I think I might have that tr this unit sort of uh, garrison here and just get some healing. But we can vital absorb. Uh, once we get a little bit closer here. Take long. I have arrived. Yeah. That will do damage there. It will restore some stamina. <laughs> and we can do that. Uh, okay. I think you can't actually do that much damage there, can you? No, you definitely can. Do you need a 
maybe it's better if you go like here, try and garrison the watchtower. Do you need something? Okay, yeah, you you should go there. Go on. You don't actually get that much from it. Well, you can still attack, I guess. And um, I'll just move you over here, but I don't really know what I want you to do. Let's take what's ours. All right, go ahead and just attack. Oh right, I forgot about the the range assist. Uh, does anybody die here? Uh, Leia's barely alive. Lex out to level twenty, more attack, and we got defender attack a single enemy grants the user plus fifty physical defense. Okay, so that makes it seem like this should be more of a front row unit, but the initiative's so low. I don't understand the best way to use vanguards. It's like, yeah. I don't know, I don't know. Like, the extra defense isn't really helping him in a lot of these, because, like, so many initiatives are higher than that. Like, this is 21, 28, like, he gets out initiative by, like, so many other enemies. So it's like, what is the the point? Um, Alright, Rolf's unit should do that. Yeah. I don't want you to go there. Um... I know what you could do. Go on. What if you go here? What are your orders, my prince? I your will shall be done. Okay, I think I might need Monica's unit to just kind of take these out of the way. Do you Oof. Who you defy? I mean, that's damage, but not like a lot of damage. They don't take a lot from the range assist. Alright, I guess you can... Oh, you don't do any damage to them. Because it's a thief. Okay. Um, you have a yeah. true strike, so I guess technically you could do this, there in a second. Your will shall be and done. then you guys go to the ballista. All right. So I think I think we're gonna go ahead and heal you and you for good measure. And so that is going to help us win. I will just watch this in action because she can hasten strike the scout in the in the front row, which opens up the back row to be attacked. I did not change around Lex's tactic, which means he's probably going to by default use the defender remove, which is probably not even. Well, I mean it's pretty good. Does that attack one enemy or multiple enemies? Leia's level twenty four. Wow. Uh, not a great level up, if I'm being honest. Yeah, what are the what are the the attacks here? That's attacks an enemy, but it does hit count two, so this is 150 damage. Uh, so that is good. So this this can be if uh, HP own HP is like less than 50 percent or something, but otherwise probably just use defender. I don't really think we need to inflict stun if we can just do this much damage. Lex, I feel I like should transition to a front row, front line unit, uh, at some point. Probably not in this squad, but I will figure out that uh, at a later time. I have arrived. Okay, so Rolf's unit. Oh right, this is the uh, the what call it? Uh, do steady damage there. But now you're coming for the archer. I'm here too. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Thankfully, we're not really taking damage. Um, that's fine. So now Rolf's unit can just kill here. Watch this play out. Whoa! Look at this background. That's sick. That is beautiful. Oh my gosh. Okay, goodbye, frontline. Oh, is that a... This is a, a five stack. So the enemies are going to start using five stacks. That is good to know. We we should be pretty close to using five stacks ourselves, though. So it'll balance itself out. That's just going to add another layer of complexity to combat, which is exciting. Okay, so I think... Who's my target? You should uh, f right. first take it over... Let's take what's ours. 
And then Travis will be the one to actually like stay in the city. I'll make it quick. Okay. So you do that. Travis leveled up, let's go. Uh, more evasion is good. Got two evasion from that level. Okay, so what we're doing is from here, I think Do you need something? we can just deploy another unit. Um, I think we'll send out Rosalinda's unit because they are all like level 20, 21, 22. They could use some more experience. So I'm going to send them out to, to clean up here. I'm, ready. I'm going to move Rolf's unit just like away and move Travis to Garrison there. And then I'll just keep Prim sort of in this area for right now. It's just free healing assist everywhere. Uh, not that Rosalinda's unit needs it. But then Rosalinda's unit can also go take on... Um... Whatchamacallit? Thunder. I was like, wait, how do how are we killing the scout in the, in the front row? They're incapacitated. Oh, okay, we were able to hit uh, that one. Sick. Ooh, there we go. Kitra and Alsh both leveled up. Kitra more attack. 40 attack is kind of a lot. Uh, more HP. Two magic attack up in that one. That's good. Uh, but yeah, they can get more experience going over this way. They can take out this because this is uh, an armor guy in the front. So there is that. And I can now move you around. Because I would want you to go camp there. You can also go towards the the camp. But this is easily just going to be Rosalinda's victory here. Uh, take that. And that. And we just outspeed and kill. That's easy. <laughs> Alright. Go with Ileon, Level up. No, not quite. So sad. Uh, you... You can go ahead and just scarce in there. And now I think at this point, we can start sending Hilda up this way to win. He might send out more, more, more reinforcements as a result of us scarcing here, but we have six uh, Valor skill points. Hungry for more, are you? Right up, my horde of cadavers will entertain you as long as you wish. Go rend their uh, rebel flesh from their bones. Alright, we're going to clear these out with uh, this, this, you know, crowd of units over this way. So we're going to heal everybody in range. You can go and actually, like, garrison there. Okay, you can go that way. I'm ready. Yeah, you can go this way. Okay, who do we want? I think we want Rosalinda's unit if we can. Perfect. We'll just skip the fight because it's Billion so close to leveling up. Got more attack, accuracy, initiative. That's good. Um, you could still do more. Let's, um, I'm going to heavy swing both of these, which I think will push them back a little bit more. And then I'll just combo that with, uh, Thundercloud. Damage occurs every, every two seconds. Perfect. We're going to... Stop your movement here. And yeah, I think we're just going to use Rosalinda's unit to just sort of finish everything. There we go. That one pushed them into me. Uh, now we get a free healing assist because Prim is stationed in the nearby city thing. That is cool. Uh, go ahead there. And there we go, and then Hilda can clean up here. I was going to Dragoon Dive, but I think I want to see what the dialogue is. And I don't want to kill him before actually getting to him. Um, okay, level up, I guess. 
More magic. That's fine. Uh, I could technically get both of these closer, so that way they can help with assist skills. But... Don't know if it's going to be necessary. It might be. Taking damage from the thunder. Uh, yeah, we can do a range assist. And there we go. Everybody else is dead except for Boltro in the back. That's so good. Alright, what do you gotta say for yourself? I respect people who respect me back. You mean the ones that are already dead? <laughs> it's literally just you. Oh! Oh, you can bring him back to life! Oh, that's cool! So it is a little misleading, but I'm also able to just kind of kill them. And now you're alone again. And that will do it. And then we get back to full health. Just rub it in your face. Oh, that's a lot of experience. Go, Oakley's go. Pop off Queen. More evasion for the front row is good. HP. All that good stuff. And guard rate. All very good stuff. And that looks like a victory to me. Necromancer, Necromancer's Lantern. Poison immunity, death blow immunity. Um, after an ally is hit by an attack, counterattack a single enemy, inflicts blindness and poison. That seems pretty good. I don't know who I would use that on, but maybe somebody that already has like a counterattack when an ally is hit. Um, and then this is just like an improved version of that. But uh, I will see. I'm not sure. It is good. It's not like the most amazing thing. Because doing a lot of damage in and of itself is the best defense. So sometimes those status effects don't really matter if you're just going to like win the combat. It's just a good option to know that it is there. Are we at a renown yet? Because we're like really close. I see you've made quick work of your beloved brethren. Have you no heart? No shame for the atrocities you commit? Prepare to face judgment for your ghastly crimes. <laughs> What? Oh, hello? This has all been quite lovely. But I fear I have no more time for futile games. It does seem a little early to be killing uh, a character that is in important to the enemy army like this. What is going to happen, though, if Elaine is captured? I shall finally rid myself of that irksome ring and the girl both. I can't let you do that. Oh? Oh! So you're gonna save us what? These two may be mere obstructions on your path of conquest, but I've need of them both, and none of you. Right, because she needs us alive or whatever. And Balto's just gonna kill us. Seems the ghoul slipped away. Why have you helped us? Because that girl is the only vessel I have, and I've no interest in seeing it defiled. What do you mean, Vessel? Simple. Zenoira's spell is not the mind control you think it is. No, it is a channeling magic. Designed to place a fallen soul into the body of one who yet lives. Okay. You mean to say all those we thought were puppets were actually possessed by spirits of the dead? Which implies you're one of them yourself. Mind your manners, child. Living souls are just as easily transferred as the deceased, and mine is very much still alive. For the moment, perhaps. Okay, so it's not exactly mind control, but it creates a similar effect. But those are being, uh, controlled by, like, real spirits, essentially, and, like, real people's wills. We'll just have to see about that, won't we? Now, I know you seek the ancient texts housed within the Tower of Thorns. Meet me at its peak. And we can finally bring this long-winded chapter to a close. Okay. I, I can't really tell if you're helping us or you're going to fight us. Like, I honestly cannot tell right now. Great wood, great shield. Uh, medium revival orb. Good stuff. That's A rank. Beloved by all. I wonder if we're going to get to that S rank. Uh, subterranean City of the Dark Elves, a place called Quintipelt, lies north of here. 
And it's not much farther from there to the Nasirion. Though regrettably, Zenora has claimed the city as their own. Exercise caution in your next steps in lane. No problem. I will do just that. A word of your highness. You may now form units holding up to five members if you so desire. We sure can. Let's make for a nearby fort and bolster our ranks. I will. Um, so, let us go backwards to see all of the things that we uh, can do. Can we, like... Alright, so... Okay, we can't go through the thorns, but it just sort of stops us. It doesn't, like, hurt us. Uh, so there's a fort right there. We're gonna come back up through this way. I wanna just sort of clear out everything back here. Just to see if there's any towns that we have gotten. Anything... Doesn't look like it, actually. That's... That's surprising. Okay, this is a sort of dead end right there. Just getting all of this stuff here. Alright, and so then this just goes back. Alright, so we just did that. And then this was the previous town? Right? May fortune bring what you see. Yeah, this is the previous town. Okay, and then there's something south. So I can go... Let's just see what this is. What do you have to say? Fools, none can withstand the enfeebling nature of my curses. The Battle for Hildy. Alright, so this is probably going to be a very small battle, and it's also only level 21. So I think we're going to do this one the next time. Uh, but I am going to make my way to this fort. Uh, I probably should have stopped at the fort on the way here. And I guess we're going to turn one of our units into a, into a five stack. So we can expand units. So it costs 200 honors to go from four to five. Um, and I don't know... Ooh, I was saying about turning Lex into a frontline unit. Maybe if I put this as a 4 to 5, then maybe I move Lex to the front. But I feel like Travis does such a good job evading that I'm not sure if that's the one that I want to mess with. I could do something... No, I was going to say I could do something really funny and um, put another like cavalry here. I'm sure I have one in the background somewhere. But uh, I could also do something anti-magic here. I could also just increase 4 to 5 and then just put another healer somewhere. Um, there are options. I think... I think... Hmm. I was going to say this going from 4 to 5 because I know I have some more archers in the background that I could use. The only problem with that is then one of these units has to go to the front lines and I don't... I guess I could just move Chloe around to somewhere else. Um, I don't love that. I don't have another flying or anti cavalry unit that I'd want to put there. I don't think I have another magic unit that I'd want to put here. This could be something just because this doesn't really have a purpose. Yeah, I think um, I'm going to look at all my units and I'm going to come back with a decision at the start of the next episode. Because this is going to require a lot of thinking. Because I don't exactly know what I want to do with these. I could also unlock another unit slot, honestly. I don't hate that as a concept. And then I have more room to uh, add even more like characters. Which could be good. Um, but I think unlocking a unit slot, that's going to start at 2. I think I might be able to get it to 3. And then I'm going to have to hold off until I get more honors. Till I can do anything with another unit slot. So, I, yeah, those are the things I'm considering right now. I will decide what to do, and I will come back with an answer at the start of the next episode. So, hopefully you are enjoying and looking forward uh, to that. If so, let me know, but I'll see you next time. So, till then, peace out.